Hello everyone and welcome to the session on top source Synco technology for high capacity blue hydrogen production. My name is Ilyas. I have master's degree in chemical engineering from Seoul National University, South Korea and bachelor's degree from Punjab University, Pakistan. I have previously worked in fertilizers, research, oil refining and EPC companies and currently I'm working as a technology licensing manager at Holder Topso. Holder Topso is the world leader in high performance catalysts and proprietary technologies for the chemical and refining industries. Based on cutting edge research and development, we help our customers achieve optimal performance in all phases from design to daily operations in the most responsible way. Holder Topso company was founded in 1940 by Dr. Holder Topso. We are present in 15 countries and have more than 2000 employees. For financial year 2020, our revenue was 950 million US dollars and we achieved a healthy operating profit of 180 million US dollars. We remain a very R&D centric knowledge based company. Therefore, we invested 8% of our revenue in research and development activities during the year 2020. Topso's head office is in Copenhagen and catalyst production facilities are located in Denmark and USA. Our global engineering centers are located in Copenhagen, California, Moscow and New Delhi and sales and services offices are strategically located across the globe to provide sales and technical services close to our customers. We offer technologies in chemicals, hydroprocessing and emissions management areas such as in chemical processing, we offer ammonia, syngas, methanol, hydrogen, solid oxide electrolysis, SNG synthesis natural gas, sulfuric acid, dimethyl ether, formaldehyde, and gasoline synthesis technologies. In hydroprocessing area, we are market leader in renewable hydroprocessing technology to produce green diesel or sustainable aviation fuel. Our success and expertise in renewables hydro treating area are based on strong commercial experience in designing more than 160 units for naphtha, kerosene, diesel and other fossil based hydro processing units. In emission management sector, we offer technologies for the removal of sulfur, NOx and carbon monoxide. Moreover, we provide solutions for VOC abatement and particulate filtration. As a hydrogen technology licensor, our typical scope of supply is to provide license, basic engineering design package, supply proprietary equipment and catalysts, and provide services for startup, test run, plant optimization, and operators training. We also offer digital services in the form of Topso Clearview, which not only shows plant performance in real time, but also helps operators in troubleshooting. Thanks to the Topso fault model, which is based on Topso's vast experience in hydrogen production technology. For the upgrade of existing units, we perform revamp studies. As part of Topso hydrogen technology license, we provide process performance guarantees on plant capacity, hydrogen product purity, and feed plus fuel consumption. For our basic engineering design package, catalysts and equipment supplies, we provide engineering guarantees, catalyst cycle length guarantees, and equipment guarantees. Holder Topso is the only hydrogen technology licensor who supplies both technology and catalysts. So our customers have single source of responsibility when it comes to plant performance guarantees. Holder Topso is well positioned to contribute in this energy transition journey towards blue hydrogen. We have a long history and experience with a diverse portfolio of technologies to produce hydrogen. First steam methane reformer based on Topso technology was started up in 1957 and first hydrogen plant based on Topso technology was commissioned in 1962. Since then, Topso has continued developing more efficient reforming technologies to produce hydrogen in the most cost efficient way. For example, Topso developed autothermal reformer in 1958, Syncor, which is an upgrade of the ATR reformer with low steam to carbon ratio in 1990, convective reformer HTCR in 1995, high flux SMR reformer in 2001, 
and Exchange Reformer HTER in 2003. Topso's development journey continues with the planned startup of first electrically heated steam methane reformer in summer 2021. Since ESMR is electrically heated, therefore it removes any requirement for expensive post-combustion CO2 capture for blue hydrogen production. In our hydrogen technologies portfolio, traditional SMR technology is well suited for blue hydrogen production in the capacity range of 20,000 to 200,000 NMQ per hour. SMR technology provides steam export flexibility and has good economy of scale. For hydrogen plants with the capacity below 30,000 NMQ per hour, HDCR technology is an optimal choice as it operates with zero steam export and required plot size is small because HDCR reformer is quite compact. We have upgraded our SMR technology with bionet tubes with SMR B reformer, which can produce hydrogen with the maximum capacity of 200,000 NMQ per hour with zero steam export. HTER technology reduces steam export from SMR plant and is a good option for increasing SMR plant capacity. For high capacity plants until 600,000 NMQ per hour, Topsoil Syncor technology is an optimal choice to produce cost effective blue hydrogen production in a single train. Since Syncor reformer is compact, therefore it requires small plot area. Holdo Topso has more than 250 commercial references with Topso SMR technology. In 2020, we successfully started up three trains of SMR plants, each with 206,000 NMQ per hour capacity. We have more than 31 plants based on HTCR technology currently under operation. HTCR technology has a single burner in the horizontal section of the reformer and the vertical section holds bionet tubes bundle. For exchange reforming technology, HTER, Holdotopso has 18 commercial references. HTER is best suited for capacity upgrade of existing hydrogen plants or reduction of steam export from the grassroots plants. First industrial plant based on Syncor technology was started up in 2002. At the moment, 10 plants based on Syncor technology are in operation. We have more than 85 years of combined industrial operation experience with Syncor technology. Syncor plants with the capacity range of 50,000 to 550,000 NMQ per hour synthesis gas, enabling 1,067 metric tons hydrogen per day are currently in industrial operation. We have more than 14 years of Syncor experience in producing 550,000 NMQ per hour synthesis gas in a single train. Two single trains each producing 610,000 NMQ per hour of synthesis gas based on Syncor technology are under construction. In conclusion, Hodotopso Syncor technology is well proven and has an extensive successful commercial experience. In general, Syncor technology has better operating efficiency as compared to traditional SMR technology. For example, total feed plus fuel consumption for Syncor technology is 2.5% lower as compared to SMR technology. Similarly, specific net energy consumption for Syncor technology is 2.3% lower than SMR, while considering that oxygen is available from outside the battery limits. However, if air separation unit is included, then SNEC for Syncor technology is slightly higher than the SMR technology. Syncor reforming is an autothermal reforming process, which is fundamentally different from the tubular SMR reformer in the sense that the main reforming process takes place inside one Syncor reactor. The Syncor reactor operates at a steam to carbon ratio of 0.6 which is five times less than SMR. The reduced steam throughput offers an OPEX reduction, but also significantly reduces the size of equipment and piping, keeping it within the standard sizes and lowering CAPEX when scaling up. This steam to carbon ratio benefit is one of the main reasons why Syncor has become the preferred choice for large scale hydrogen production. 
It enhances economy of scale by maximizing single line capacity while significantly reducing capital and operating costs. This slide shows process flow scheme of base case of Syncor hydrogen production plant without any CO2 capture. The natural gas feedstock contains sulfur compounds which have to be removed in order to avoid poisoning of the reforming and shift catalysts. The natural gas from the battery limit is mixed with recycled hydrogen and heated in the flue gas section of the fired heater. The feed containing sulfur is hydrogenated in the HTS reactor. The hydrogenation catalyst converts any organic sulfur compounds in the feed to H2S. Hydrogenated process gas then enters the sulfur absorbers where H2S is absorbed by the zinc oxide catalyst. The process gas from the hydrodesulfurization section is mixed with steam in order to obtain steam to carbon ratio of around 0.6. After steam addition, the mixture is further preheated in the pre-reformer feed preheater coil and is sent to the pre-reformer. In the pre-reformer, all heavy hydrocarbons are converted to methane by adiabatic steam reforming. As the pre-reformer is an adiabatic reactor, there is no heat input and the outlet temperature will be different depending on the feedstock. In case of an upset in the desulfurization section, the pre-reformer also acts as a guard for poisons while protecting the downstream ATR and shift catalysts. The second step is to reform all methane to synthesis gas containing carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide and hydrogen in the autothermal reformer. The process gas leaving the reforming section contains approximately 27 volume percent of carbon monoxide, which is converted by steam into carbon dioxide and hydrogen in the shift section. The main purpose of the shift section is to form more hydrogen and at the same time reduce the amount of waste gas by converting carbon monoxide into carbon dioxide, which can be then removed in the carbon dioxide removal section. The hot reformed gas from the ATR continues in a refractory line outlet section to the waste heat boiler. The process gas is cooled in this waste heat boiler and heat is recovered by production of medium pressure saturated steam. The steam drum provides boiled water to the waste heat boiler and saturated steam is transported back to the steam drum from where it is sent to the steam superheater for superheating. After cooling, the process gas is mixed with saturated steam before it is sent to the shift converters. The additional steam serves multiple purposes. For example, it shifts thermodynamics of the shift reaction towards hydrogen and CO2, thus increasing the carbon recovery. It increases the kinetics of the shift reaction, thereby reducing the required catalyst volume in the shift section, and it lowers the temperature of the gas inlet to the high temperature shift converter. The shift reaction takes place in the two adiabatic shift converters with process gas cooling after each converter. The heat content of the effluent from the low temperature shift converter is recovered in a series of heat exchangers. After cooling down the process gas, process condensate is separated in the process condensate separators before being sent to the process condensate stripper. Cooled process gas then enters into PSA unit and high purity hydrogen is produced. PSA off gases along with natural gas provide the required heat in the fired heater. Since this base case has no CO2 capture, therefore all the CO2 in PSA off gases and CO2 resulting from burning of natural gas end up in the flue gas from the fired heater. Production of blue hydrogen with Syncor technology requires addition of CO2 removal unit and recycling of PSA off gases to pre-reformer and low temperature shift reactor. Carbon dioxide in the process gas leaving the separator is recovered in the yellow highlighted CO2 removal unit. There are many benefits of combining Topso Syncor technology with CO2 capture process. For example, Syncor reforming technology can directly produce sink gas with a high hydrogen to carbon monoxide ratio. Two step shift configuration with HT and LT shift ensures maximum conversion of carbon monoxide into carbon dioxide and maximum production of hydrogen. At the outlet of LT shift reactor, amount of carbon monoxide is significantly reduced and carbon dioxide quantity is increased to approximately 25 volume percent. Therefore, maximum CO2 can be captured from the CO2 rich hydrogen gas at high pressure, which results in a CO2 capture unit with low capital and low operating costs. 
Most importantly, low steam throughput in Syncor plant enables large single line capacity, which makes Syncor the most cost efficient technology for high capacity hydrogen production. Moreover, fired heated duty in Syncor plant is low. Therefore, CO2 emissions from flue gas are quite low. Hence, there is no need to add expensive CO2 removal section at the flue gas outlet. Thereby, blue Syncor hydrogen technology can achieve greater than 90 to 97% CO2 recovery for high capacity hydrogen plant in the most cost efficient way. Holotopso Syncor based blue hydrogen production process provides efficient carbon capture, low carbon emissions, low water consumption, and low NOx emissions. The largest Syncor reactor in operation today has a hydrogen production capacity of 500,000 nmq per hour. But the economical limit for single train capacity is 825,000 nmq per hour. Syncor reforming is therefore likely to be the dominant technology for large scale blue hydrogen production because of its favorable economics. The Syncor technology is inherently blue with less than 8 kg CO2 being emitted for each kilogram of hydrogen produced, which is reduced to less than one kilogram CO2 after adding CO2 removal unit. Around 90% CO2 recovery can be achieved by CO2 removal from process gas and 99% can be achieved by adding CO2 removal unit both at the process gas and the flue gas. The high temperature shift converter is typically loaded with top source HT shift catalyst SK501 flex. SK501 catalyst is based on zinc oxide and zinc aluminum spinel. The iron-free formulation allows operation at low steam to carbon ratios without the risk of iron carbide formation and unwanted fissure drop byproducts formation. Moreover, the catalyst does not require additional equipment for reduction. This catalyst is one of the key elements in Topso's ATR-based Syncor process since conventional iron-based high temperature shift catalysts require a minimum steam to carbon ratio in order to avoid the aforementioned fissure-trop byproducts and to avoid the loss of catalyst strength. Top source SK501 flex catalyst has no such limitations. The low temperature shift converter is typically loaded with top source catalysts LSK2 and LK821-2. A top layer of LSK2 is installed in the low temperature shift converter as a guard to catch possible chlorine in the gas and to prevent liquid droplets from reaching LK821-2. The LK821-2 catalyst consists of oxides of copper, zinc and aluminium and is characterized by high activity, high strength and high tolerance towards sulfur poisoning. The Syncor reactor has a compact design consisting of a refractory line pressure vessel with a burner, combustion chamber, and a catalyst bed. The burner is a key element of the Syncor technology as it provides critical mixing of the feed streams in a turbulent diffusion flame. The CTS burner is characterized by its capability of operating at high flame temperatures. The combustion zone is where the gas and the oxygen are gradually mixed and combusted in a turbulent diffusion flame. Normally, the principle of mixed is burnt can be assumed because the exothermic combustion reactions consuming oxygen are very fast reactions. The combustion process proceeds as a sub stoichiometric process. The combustion of methane takes place through numerous radical reactions, but in simplified models, it can be considered as one molecular reaction that is the highly exothermic combustion of methane to carbon monoxide and water. Excess methane present at the combustion zone will exit after all oxygen has been converted. The thermal zone is part of the combustion chamber where further conversion of the hydrocarbons proceeds by homogeneous gas phase reactions. The main reactions are methane reforming and shift reaction. During normal operation, soot precursors such as acetylene, ethylene, and PAH compounds are formed in minor amounts in the combustion chamber, but they are converted and destroyed by catalytic reactions on the catalyst bed. So the synthesis gas is soot free and without higher hydrocarbons. The combustion chamber is followed by a fixed catalyst bed, the catalytic zone, in which the final hydrocarbon conversion 
takes place through heterogeneous catalytic reactions. At the exit of the catalytic zone, the synthesis gas will be close to equilibrium with respect to methane reforming and shift reaction, thereby favoring low methane slip. Top so catalyst bed solution for the Synco reactor has a top layer of target tiles made of alumina or zirconia. Target tiles separate combustion chamber from catalyst bed and protect the catalyst from direct impact from open flame. Moreover, they hold down the catalyst and keep it in place during operation. The catalyst bed in the autothermal reformer consists of a multi-layer loading of nickel catalyst. The catalyst bed has been optimized to achieve low pressure drop and prevent gas bypass through the refractory to the reactor shell. The first layer of catalyst is a special catalyst RKA10 with a high thermal strength. The main catalyst bed is loaded with Topso RKS2 catalyst in two particle shapes, a large 25 mm ring RKS2 and a 20 mm catalyst with seven axial holes RKS27H. The reactions are mainly controlled by film diffusion at the outer catalyst pallet surface and the process can be carried out at very high velocities. Similar to the other technology elements of a Synco reactor, the optimal design of the catalyst bed support is equally important to ensure maximum reliability and availability of the Synco unit and prevent unplanned incidents. The catalyst bed support is an integral part of the Synco design and serves both as structural support for the catalyst bed and as an outlet flow distributor guiding the syngas from the catalyst bed into the transfer line to the waste heat recovery system downstream the reformer. It has been developed in every detail to provide customers with a very robust solution which enhances the reliability of the unit by reducing the need for maintenance, minimizing the operational risk and maximizing the operating cycles between plant turnarounds. In addition to this, it allows for easier installation and inspection than other solutions available in the market. To offer a supreme quality, the design takes into account every detail about engineering, fabrication, installation, and operation and maintenance. Manufacturing is limited to only the highest quality vendors chosen by Topso, but to ensure that the quality will be independent of the vendor workshop, the support has been designed with the aim to obtain uniform strength of each piece, optimal fabrication method and quality, and finite element analysis has been used to optimize the design with respect to axial and vertical loads in order to minimize stress on structural parts. The result is a very robust design, and this is important to ensure that even if a small failure will occur at some stage, plant operation can continue without the risk of any major incident. To ensure full quality control for customers, Topso delivers the catalyst bed support as proprietary equipment. We have more than 70 years combined safe operation with Syncore autothermal reforming technology at low steam to carbon ratio of 0.6. The technology is proven and based on the operating experience, it has been continuously developed and improved in very close collaboration with our customers. For example, the CTS burner is third generation. The drivers for development are continuous focus on safety and reliability in order to obtain maximum runtime and availability between turnarounds and to minimize the risk of unplanned incidents. Another driver for development has been the continued market demands in various industries for large capacities in single trains in order to obtain or improve economy of scale. CO2 emissions from Synco technology are inherently low and with the addition of CO2 removal unit, Synco technology is best suited for high capacity blue hydrogen production. Why you should choose Topso for your upcoming blue hydrogen revamps or grassroots projects? Because Topso is financially strong company. We have proven commercial references. We have a long-term mindset with a focus on technology and catalyst development, which is evident from our high spending on R&D activities. We support our clients after the plant startup with after sales services. And most importantly, we are a reliable partner in all your technology and catalyst needs.
Thank you, everyone. I appreciate you being here and listening to this session. Please feel free to contact if you would like to discuss your blue or solid oxide electrolysis based green hydrogen technology projects. You can contact me via phone or email shown here.